Text wrapping, sometimes known as text flow, allows you to wrap text around objects, images, tables, and shapes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply, adjust, and ignore these options. So let's get started. I have here a series of linked text frames, as well as this image of an elephant. The elephant image is a PNG and has a transparent background. With this in mind, we're going to apply some text wrap settings to the image itself. When applying text wrapping, it's important to apply the wrap settings to the object, not the text frame. I'm going to select my elephant image using the move tool, which is V on the keyboard. And then I'm going to select my text wrap settings on the toolbar here. We have here a number of wrap styles that we can choose from. Jump will position the text above or below the object. Square will flow the text around the object in the shape of a square. Tight will flow the text around the edge of an image, keeping a tight line around the object. The inside edge wrap style is only used under specific circumstances, but it allows you to wrap the text within the object itself. And lastly, we have edge only. With this image, I'll choose the tight option and we can see that the text has wrapped neatly around my image, flowing nicely around the edges of the tusks and ears of the elephant. Below we have the wrap to settings and the wrap to section allows me to wrap my text to both sides of the text frame or just the larger side. In this particular example, I'm not going to make an adjustment to the wrap to settings, but I am going to make an adjustment to the distance from settings. Changing this setting allows me to change the distance between the text and the image. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the spacing in the left and right hand fields to around six millimeters. And in doing so, we can see that my text has automatically repositioned itself, accommodating for the increased space. If I was to click the linked icon on the panel here, this would allow me to adjust the spacing evenly around the image. The elephant image is a good example of applying text wrapping options to a PNG image that has a transparent background. If we scroll to the page below, we can see here that we have some text and a JPEG image, which has an opaque background instead. Unlike the PNG image, if I apply a tight text wrap style to the JPEG, the text will disappear off the screen as it is attempting to wrap to the edge of the image. Instead of applying a text wrap style from the text wrap panel, I'm going to use the edit wrap outline function, which can be found on the toolbar here. This will allow me to edit the text wrap outline. And to begin with, the wrap outline uses the edge of the image as a reference. I can then reshape that edge by dragging and editing the nodes at will. The wrap outline function uses the same node design as the pen tool, so I can insert new nodes and make adjustments as I would if I was drawing with the pen tool. So I'm going to work my way down, adjusting the edge, making the text wrap nicely around the side of the jellyfish image. Making small adjustments as I go. I can see on my layers panel that I have two text frames that have also been affected by the wrap outline. In this case, I want the text frames to ignore the wrap outline. So with the frame selected for my layers panel, I'll go to text, text wrap, and ignore text wraps. These two text boxes will now ignore the wrap outline or any other wrap settings they encounter. Lastly, I'll go to this page and we can see here that I have a text box placed over the top of another text frame. I'm going to go ahead and select the text frame itself, open my text wrap settings once again from the toolbar, and this time I'm going to apply the text wrap to the text frame itself. Applying a text wrap style to a text frame will affect other text frames but not the initial frame that the text wrap setting was applied to. I'm going to select the square wrap style and in doing so, this will wrap the text around the frame in the shape of a square. I can once again adjust my distance from settings to increase the space between my selected text frame and the three column text frame behind. And that's how to apply, adjust and ignore text wrapping in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.